My name is Stephanie Richmond and I'm a river's edge keeper here at the zoo. I've been taking care of the rhinos here for about five years. Our female is Katie Rain, she's almost nine years old. Our adult male is a Jabu, also nine years old. And then their offspring, or their son, Ruka, and he will be three years old in January. Black rhinos are one of five species of rhinos, uh, three of which are critically endangered. The main reason that rhinos are so endangered is because they're killed for their horns. Many Asian cultures and countries believe that rhino horn, or by consuming rhino horn, they are able to cure diseases, everything from fever and headaches to cancer. Um, it's even considered in some countries to be a party drug. So rhino horn is made up of keratin, it's the same material as, as your fingernails and hair. Studies have shown that rhino horn is not medicine. Black rhinos are found in savannas and grasslands of Africa. They're browsers, meaning that they eat branches and leaves from the trees. You may notice when watching our rhinos that they have a prehensile lip. It's basically an all muscular lip that they can use to grab those branches and those leaves out of the trees, pull down and eat them. Both male and female black rhinos have horns. Their main use of their horn is for defense. Black rhinos have an excellent sense of smell and hearing, but what they don't have is a great sense of sight. They can't see really well, so often what they do is they just see movement and they charge first and ask questions later. One of the things you can do at home to help save rhinos is to only buy products with sustainable palm oil. When they plant the palm oil trees, they clear cut the rainforest, thereby destroying the rhinos' homes. 